Hello guys, welcome back to another Android tutorial. Uh, today we are going to learn about how to place ad from AdMob in your Android application. AdMob is a product from Google. Uh, it provides better CPC and CTR. So, by showing ad from AdMob in your free app, you can earn some revenue from it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to place a banner ad from AdMob in your Android application. So the first step you have to sign up for AdMob. Uh, if you do not have an account in AdMob, you can sign up. But here in my case, I already have an account in AdMob. So here I'm going to sign into AdMob. Now I sign in into AdMob. Now here I'm going to add a new application to the AdMob. So select the Apps option on the left side. And select Add an op AMP option. So now we are going to create a new Android application and that application is not available in Play Store. So here select the No option. Now here you have to specify your application name. I name it as Android Desktop and select your platform. You can use AtMob for both Android and iOS. So here I am going to show you how to implement AtMob in Android. So select Android and click Add. So now here I create a new application in AtMob and here is your application ID. This is your application ID. Uh, you have to place this application ID in your Android Studio project. So now uh, we have to create an ad unit. So create an ad unit. So here I am going to place a simple banner ad into the Android application. So select banner ad. So this ad is this banner is going to display text and image. Uh, this is the refresh rate of ad. It is recommended to use Google optimized or you can custom your ad refresh rate here. And here is the text to ad style. It is recommended to use standard or you can customize your ad style. And here you have to provide an ad unit name. So here I specify a name for it, banner ad at bottom side and click save. Now here I create a new banner ad and here is the application ID and here is the ad unit ID. So you have to place these two in your Android application. You have to place the application ID. Uh, also you have to place the ad unit ID in your Android Studio project. So now uh, we create an account in AdMob and we add a new application to AdMob. Also we create a simple banner ad in AdMob. Now we are going to create a new Android project and we are going to place a banner ad in the Android application. And now we are going to create a new Android Studio project and we are going to place an AdMob banner ad in it. So create a new Android Studio project. Specify your application name. Here I name it as AdMob Demo. Uh, select an MD activity. So here the project is created. So for this application we need to access the internet. So for accessing internet we have to specify the internet permission. So open manifest file. Specify the needed permission. So if you are placing AtMob SDK in your Android Studio project, uh, you have to add two permissions. First one for accessing the internet and second one for check the network state. So here I place the internet permission. Now here I am going to add another permission for access the network state. So these are the two permissions needed for the AtMob mobile SDK. Okay. So now uh, we have to add AtMob SDK to the Android Studio project. So if you're working with Android Studio, you can add, you can integrate. Uh, Google AdMob SDK through the Gradle script file. So go to the 
official tutorial of AdMob. Go to the official documents. Uh, go to the standalone AdMob version. So here is the dependency. So copy this one. Uh, now open Gradle script. Open module level Gradle file. Add the dependency to the dependency section. Now sync the project. Now the project sync finishes successfully. So now we place the uh, AtMob SDK to this Android Studio project. And now go to the main activity.java. So the first thing we have to initialize the AtMob SDK. For that you have to make a statement uh, mobile ads dot initialize. Here you need to pass two parameters. First one is your context and second one is your AtMob app ID. You will get your AtMob app ID uh, from your AtMob account. So here is the uh, AtMob dashboard. So from here uh, you can copy your application ID. So here I am going to use some demo ID. Uh, so for testing purpose it is better to use some uh, demo ID. So here is a sample ID available on this official tutorial. Uh, if you are uh, for testing purpose, uh, it is better to use sample ID. So I copy this sample ID. Now first here I am going to pass the context. Now uh, you have to place your app ID. So this is not a natural app ID. Uh, it is a sample ID. So if you want to publish your uh, app on Play Store or you want to share your app on any other means, uh, you have to use a real application ID. So here this is a uh, testing test app ID. So now we successfully integrate uh, Mobile SDK to this project and we initialize the Mobile SDK. And uh, now we can prepare the UI of the application. So here the root element is a constraint layout. I don't want this constraint layout. Instead, I'm going to use a relative layout. So here I'm going to place a text view. So here I place a text view in the activity main.xml file. So here I'm going to place a banner ad. So now we have to add the needed XML component for placing the banner ad. So here I'm going to add an ad view. Here is an ad view. Here the attributes are first ID is ad view. Specify the layout width into wrap content, height into wrap content, and center horizontal true. Align parent bottom into true and add size into banner. Now here you need to specify your add unit ID. You can copy the add unit ID from the AdMob dashboard. So go to the AdMob website. So here uh, for this application we already create an add unit. Here is the add unit. So we already create a banner ad and you can copy the add unit ID from here. But for testing purpose, it is better to use some test starts. So here on the official document here, you can see some test starts. Open it. And these are some sample add unit ID. So it is better to use the sample add unit ID for testing purpose. Uh, if you are using a real add for testing purpose, it is against the add more policy. Uh, in such situation, uh, your account to be suspended. So for avoid account suspension, you have to use some sample ad. So here, I'm going to place a banner ad. So here is a sample ad unit for banner ad. So I copy this one and put it here. And here you can see now the ad available at the bottom of this activity. 
Now we can initialize this one. So go to main activity dot Java. First here you have to create some variables for add view. I name it as m add view. Now we can initialize that one. m add view. Type cast that one into add view. Now find it. It is add view. Now the next step is to create some variables for add request. So create say add request. A new add request dot builder and call the method build. So now we have an add view and we have an add request. So now we can load the add on the add view using this add request. So m add view dot load add and pass the add request as parameter. So this will load an add on the banner. So now we successfully add a banner add to the application. So now here I am going to test it on a virtual device. So if you for debugging if you if your application in debugging uh, you have to make sure that you place a method called add test device so here I'm going to test it on a virtual device so we can pass this one device ID emulator okay now we can test it so now I'm going to run some virtual device Okay, now here the virtual device is ready. Now we can test it. Now I'm going to run it. Now the application available on this virtual device and here is a test ad. So this is a banner ad from AdMob. So here now we test it on a virtual device. Now I am going to test it on a real device. So in such situation uh, you have to remove this one. So I just remove this statement. Uh, now I connect one of my real device to this system. Uh, now I am going to run this app. So here is a real device. Now I try to run this application on a real device. Now open Lockyard window. So now here I successfully install this application on a real device. So in Lockyard window, you can search something called add request. And here it is. Here you can see add request.builder add test device. So this is the ID for your test device. So you have to copy this ID. And you have to add it to the add request. So add a test device and you have to place the device ID here. So now your device is a test device. Uh, this device will not display any real ad. Instead this device always display test ads. So always make sure that uh, when you are working with AdMob do not use real ad. It is against AdMob policy. Always use test ad. So, when you publish this application on Play Store, make sure that you are using your real app ID. And also make sure that you are remove this method add test device. Also, you have to use your real add unit ID in the layout. So, this is how uh, we are integrating AdMob banner ad in your Android application.